Your life expectancy is not 78 years old, no matter what you've been told or what you read on the internet. Is not 78 years old. Oh man, this drives me up the wall because so many people make this social security determination based on this just wrong life expectancy idea that there we we live on average till 78. It's just not true. And I'm going to show you here using the social security life expectancy tool. Man, I tell you, if you're not using socialsecurity.gov info, you're missing out so much wonderful stuff here that uh, is really helpful without question. So. Let's dive right into this. This is a Social Security Retirement and Survivor Benefits Life Expectancy Calculator. All right, so we're gonna say your old buddy Josh. All right, we're gonna say I'm a man, and we're gonna say I was born January 1st, 1970. And let's see what we got here for life expectancy. All right, so let's see what we say. We're gonna do this, submit. And Social Security is gonna come and say my life expectancy as of 49 uh, uh, years and three months is an additional 32 years. So I will live until I'm 82.1 is my life expectancy. The average number of additional years a male born in 1970 can expect to live is not, it's not 78, it's 82. Um, at age 62, when I'm hit 62, my life expectancy will be 22.6 years, which means I'll live an additional, I'll live an additional 22.6 years at the age of 62. My life expectancy when I hit 62 will be 84.5. Does that make sense? When I hit 67, because that's your full retirement age, this is when you can file early, my life expectancy will be 85.8. And when I hit 70, my life expectancy will be 86.6. Um, so you can see here, the, your life expectancy actually gets more the longer you live. I will die earlier now because I'm only 49, but if I can survive until I'm 62, I'll live longer. If I can survive until I'm 67, I'll live longer. If I can survive until I'm 70, I'll live even longer. So that's how the life expectancies work. Now, if we go, let's do this. We'll kind of go back here. Uh, I guess I got to go back. All right. So I was gonna, let's do it just real quick. We'll do a woman, a female. And it's even more, it's worse or better. Uh, her life expectancy, let's say this is my wife, was 85.5. At 62, the first year she can file, her earliest year of eligibility is 87.1. If she lives to 80, uh, 67 years old, she'll have a life expectancy of 88. If she lives till she's 70, she'll have a life expectancy of almost 89. All right, that's how that works. So let's go back and say, I don't know, We'll say a female who's born in 1957, because that will put her at, uh, let's see, what age will that make her? 1957, let me just add it, okay. One sec. right there, crack out. All right, so a female born in 1957, her life expectancy, because right now she's 62, her earliest year of eligibility is literally right now when she can file. If she says, I'm gonna file for social security because I have a life expectancy, of 78 years old, that means she only thinks she has 16 years of which left to live. It's simply not true, my friends. Look, she has a life expectancy of 24 more years left to live. She is shortchanging herself by eight years. And this is the average, my friends, the average. Some people are going to survive beyond that, well beyond that. Some people won't. But that is the average at 86. When she's 66 in four months, her full retirement age, her life expectancy is still almost 21 years. And then when she hits 70, she'll have a life expectancy still of almost 18 years. It's nuts. I, so you just, uh. now let's go back. That's someone whose earliest year of eligibility is today. They're going to say, well, I'm going to take my Social Security at 62 because my life ex expectancy is only 78. Thus, I think I'm only going to get 16 years. And if I wait till I'm 66 and my life expectancy is 78, I only get 12 years. If I wait till I'm 70, my life expectancy is only 78. I'm only going to get eight years. But it doesn't work like that. So let's go to someone who's brand spanking new uh, bouncing baby boy today. And we're going to say April, let's say the 5th. Yeah, April 5th in 2019. All right. So when you're making your social security calculation, please, for the love of all that is good, understand what life expectancy is. So this bouncing baby boy has a life expectancy today of 86.9 years old. If this kid can survive until he's 62, he'll have a life expectancy of 89.7. And you can see that. That's, I mean, just, we got to stop this 78 is average life expectancy. It simply is not. 
All right, let's go back to that's a boy, right? When that boy or that girl as, as a female, let's go to a boy. I think it's gonna be a lot worse, actually. Yeah, yeah. So boys, that's why I always think this. Uh, the, what's the patriarchy, whatever they call it, about uh, a male uh, toxic masculinity or something like that? Well, men don't live as long. I mean, so what's the discrimination against men there? Uh, it just is nuts. Well, one of the reasons because men work more dangerous jobs. That's a fact. But anyway. Estimated years for a ba bouncing baby boy born today is a life expectancy of 83.2. So there's nothing about 78, nothing about 80. It's much, much more than that. And again, if you are in your 60s today, your life expectancy is significantly, significantly greater than 78, 79, or 80 years old. So if you're taking Social Security early under the assumption that your life expectancy is a you know, smaller amount, you're hurting yourself, man, without question. Don't do that. Now, that doesn't mean don't take it early. I'm just saying do it under the pretense of the real numbers, not some false stuff that you read on the Internet. Because remember what Abraham Lincoln said about the Internet? You can't believe what you hear on it all the time. Remember, Abraham Lincoln said that. How did I find that info? I found it on the Internet. All right. See you next time. Thanks now.